Hello there! In this video, I want to tell you about Next Security. So, Next Security is a security module for Next that makes your Next application more secure by default. But I want to focus specifically on the recent changes that were added to the module because last week we have released a stable 1.0 version of the module. So after five release candidates, we decided to release a stable version with the stable API that you can use in your next or next application. So let's take a look what it has to offer. Just before we start the video, I want to tell you about ViewSchool. So ViewSchool is a website that allows you to learn Vue.js, Next, JavaScript, TypeScript, GraphQL, and many, many more. Check out the link in the description for more than 1000 lessons, 90 hours of content and more than 50 courses. Next Security will help you build more secure Nux applications by default. What it means? It means that by using the module, it will automatically configure your Nux app to follow OVASP security patterns and principles by using HTTP headers and useful middleware. Without any configuration, Next Security will help you protect your app by implementing headers, request size and rate limiters, cross-site scripting validation, cross-origin resource sharing support, allowed HTTP methods, and protection against cross-site request forgery attacks. I especially recommend you to check out the documentation section here at the top of the page to learn about how to get started with the module, how headers work and how you can customize them to meet your needs best, what is the middleware and how it helps you make your app more secure, useful utils that you can utilize in your app, as well as some advanced aspects such as good practices and recommendations, answers to frequently asked questions, and strict content security policy. Apart from the documentation section, you also have the playground section where you can try NAC security on StackBlitz, as well as the releases page that shows you the most recent releases of the module. And in here, we will be also able to see the recent changes of 1.0 stable version. Let's take a look at the code right now to see how the module works in more details. I have a simple Nux free application and I have installed Nux security 1.0. Let's start our server by running yarn dev and let's inspect the browser so at first we don't see any significant difference, just see hello next security. But if we inspect the network tab and specifically we filter by doc and we expand this element here, we will see that we have these various headers set for us, such as content security policy or cross origin resource policy, refer policy and many, many more. These headers are set for us automatically if we're using several site rendered applications. But you might be asking, what happens if I am using a static application? So let's see. Instead of running yarn dev, I will run yarn generate to generate my application as a static app. And I will say yarn preview to preview the static application in the browser. If we refresh the page once more and we inspect this doc, we don't see these headers anymore. So what we come up in the next security module is that in the case of SSG applications, we can deliver at least part of these headers and specifically the content security policy header, which is the most important header of all of them, as a meta tag instead. 
So if we inspect the elements here, the head, and in here we will see this meta tag with the attribute HTTP equiv for equivalent. And in here you will have this configuration that you previously had in the headers. But in this case, we have it as a meta tag, which works almost the same. These response headers and corresponding values are set automatically by the module. But this doesn't mean that you cannot change it or disable it if you need it. How to do that? In next.config.ts file, we will need to set security and then headers. And then let's say that I want to change the value of x XSS protection header. I can set it to a string if I want it, so 0 or 1. Or if I don't want this header to be enabled at all, I can just set its value to false. I can also set the values of headers for certain routes only. To do so, I would need to say root rules and then some kind of, let's say, slash secret. And in here, I will say security, headers, and the same as above, x, xss protection, and let's say one. This setup works for all headers that comes with NAC security. And right now, what I will show you is I will show you how certain middleware functionalities work. So let's take a look at the cross-site scripting validation. If I will try to send a parameter that might include some kind of malicious code, such as, let's say, text x walls script, and in inside of it we will say alert1, and we will close up this script tag, what will happen is that this um, built-in middleware will throw a 400 bad request error because we have sent to the, our underlining server code or text that is that shouldn't be there, basically. Let's take a look at the example of rate limiting. But in order to see how it works under the hood, what I will need to do is I will need to go to the code and to the naxconfig.ts file and in here, I would need to change the configuration of rate limiter because by default, in order to trigger rate limiting, I would need to send more than 150 requests to my application. So in order to show you how it works, I will instead set security, rate limiter, and I will say tokens per interval, and I will set them to 10, and interval I will set to 60 seconds. So let's save the configuration. And if I try to spam the refresh button, after a certain amount of requests, I will see the four to nine too many requests response. Next security comes with many more uh, utils and functionalities that you can try out, which I highly recommend you to do so. But Keep in mind that NAC security can be configured either globally or per root. What it means? It means that if we are setting some configuration here by using the security object inside of NAC configuration, we will set these rules globally. But in some cases, you might want to set certain security rules and utilities for certain routes only or for certain routes with certain configuration, or for certain routes to disable certain functionality. So next security allows you to do so. How does it work? We need to say root rules, but first we need to add the comma here, rules, and we will say that slash secret. I want to set a security and I want rate limiter to be tokens per interval, let's say five, and interval 
I want it to be 10 seconds instead. And this works for every functionality in the module. So let's say that in the secret, I also don't want the XSS validator. So how it will work is that in here, after the rate limiter, I will say XSS validator and I will set it to false. For more advanced usage and examples such as strict content security policy, make sure to check out the next security documentation. Take care and see you next time.